What is going on, YouTube? AJ here, doing a, another Let's Play of Final Fantasy XIV online on the Behemoth server. And we are, where are we? We're very close to where we ended, but we went and did a, uh, oh, that guy's going crazy over there. Um, we did a hunting log, so we got our um, enough points for our license or issuance. So it may look like we're in the same place, but we went out, killed some, what are they? Um, Amal Jaws. All right, so now we have to go, I think, over here. Right, I think we have to go to the Taru Taru. What are they called? Tataru? I <laughs> forget what they're called now in 14. So our, yep, there we go. Our, uh, <laughs> in our efforts, We'll continue in a second. Want a bird issued, you say? Then I'll need to see your uh, Flame Kokobo issuance. There you go. Here you go, little man. Or girl. Yes, everything appears to be in order. A moment, please. I'll be right back with your Kokobo. There we go. And here he is. The fellow has been in high spirits the past, past few bells. He must have sensed that his master was coming. Now then, to make it official, you'll want to give your noble steed a name. Uh. I have to give it a name. What was it back in the day? Somebody uh, named somebody named their Kokobo Justin Bieber. So I think it, it would say whenever they uh, whenever they got on it, it said so and so mounts Justin Bieber. <laughs> so stupid. So stupid. Uh, I don't know. What are we gonna name our? How about that? Name of my first dog. Sure. Q. Qui. Qui? Okay. Haha, uh -huh. I dare say he likes his name. He's your very own Kokobo. Here's your very own Kokobo whistle. Simply blow it, and your feathered friend will come bounding to you. But do forgive him if he doesn't respond when summoned in a crowded city areas or monster infested lairs. Kokobos are stout hearted creatures, but they have their limits. And lastly, I present to you your Kokobo Rider's license as it is required by law. And that concludes all formalities. I wish you and your Kokobo long years of fulfilling companionship. Okay. Okay. Mount guide. So how do we also get, I think we get a, like these things can fight for us. Goatskin Sesti. All right. So what they got? They got added. Yeah. Uh. 
Okay, so what's next? Oh yeah, we have to go to... What's her name? Milfina. And let's mount up and go there. So much fun. Um, <laughs> our, our last episode, we, we tried... Two episodes back, somebody said that uh, our uh, video looked very potato. And I kind of agreed. Some people didn't agree, but I did agree. And I'd basically just been... Um, Ooh, pretty cool. Um, so I'd been, I'd used the, just the original settings on OBS to record these. And again, maybe because I was recording a lot of old games, uh... I couldn't tell really the difference. That and I don't really, I don't watch my own videos on YouTube. I will, um, I'll, once I record something, it'll, it'll end up in an MKV file. And I will open that up and make sure, like, I'll, I'll start it, watch the first five seconds, and then I will, Uh, then I will... Why does the behemoth, uh, look faster? Why is it flying? Um, I watch the first five seconds, okay, that the audio is working cool, the video is working cool. Then I'll just, like, randomly check spots of the video to make sure, like, oh, okay, the volume is still good. Uh, it's still recording all that garbage. And then I'll plop it on YouTube and delete it and forget it I ever did that one. On to the next episode. Uh, so I've never really watched, like, the stuff on YouTube because I just figure it's, you know, it'll look as good as how I recorded it. Because it looks really, really good. When I'm done with this video, I'll watch it on the MKV and I'll be like, that looks really good. Ah, oh, boy. Um, but apparently, yeah, I guess the compression or something when, uh during the upload. I guess YouTube compresses and then decompresses. I guess that's a, a thing. It's such a cool mount. Such a cool mount. But, uh, so I've been trying to play with settings. I was playing with them manually uh, one night for, I think, like two hours. I was playing with these stupid settings. And every time, it would look like, um, it would look like a video that, uh, like a VHS tape that had been watched a hundred times. And I'm like, why does it look this bad? So instead of playing with the settings Manually, I decided to just, um, there, there are three settings on OBS. One of them is, you know, high quality, uh, low file size. Uh, the next one is, you know, indistinguishable quality, like very large file size. And then there's one more after that. Uh, the last video I did, the, uh, Grand Company Remembrance. I did the middle one, and that thing, like, more than doubled the file size. Uh, an hour long was running about 10 gigs of, of space, and the second option was now running about 24 gigs, which is a lot for an hour, I think. I don't know. Just my opinion. I know nothing about the, the stuff. I'm not, I'm not a professional YouTuber. That's why I don't tell anybody to, hey guys, like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that thumbs up. That's why you never hear me say that. <laughs> um, so I gotta figure something out. I like OBS, so I don't want to switch. So maybe I just need to f like watch like an eight-hour. I think there's a course. I, I was looking around, and there was like a course in like 
University of Chicago is offering an OBS course. Maybe I should take that. Welcome back, Bex. Uh, welcome back. It seems you wasted no time putting your skills to work. How do I know why the recruitment office officer called to regale me with the tale of your heroics? The pride in his voice was palpable. We Scions are truly fortunate to have you. Thank you. Now, when last we spoke, I said I wanted you to meet some friends, did I not? Well, I neglected to mention to you that you have already met. Totaro, please show them in. This way, sirs. Oh, no. Thanks again for getting us out of that mess. We owe you our lives. But I don't think we've properly introduced ourselves. I'm Biggs. And I'm... I'm... Gods, man, spit it out, will you? Wedge at your service. That haircut reminds me of an onion. Like, he looks like he's got an onion on his head. I am pleased to say that Biggs and Wedge uh, will be staying with us for a while. Magitech-driven driven contraptions such as the airship grow ever more vital to the city-state of Eorzea. As a neutral party, it was judged that we Scions should serve as keepers of this technology. Of course, for this, we needed the knowledge of experts, and so we uh, requested the assistance of Garland Ironworks, who very kindly sent us a two of their finest engineers. Our happy family continues to grow. On behalf of the Scions, I bid you welcome to the Waking Sands. Okay, so we got invited because we're super special, and they got invited because they are engineers. I don't know about this. Like every soul here, I love Eorzea, and I count myself blessed to have been given this chance to stand with you and you all and fight for the future of the realm. Never have I known such fulfillment, such happiness. Glad I could provide that for you, Milfina. So this is, uh, this video again is going to be the middle category, so it's probably going to be the 24 gigs of video. That it also, the 24 gigs of video also take like three hours to upload to YouTube, sometimes four. And the other one took like an hour and a half. All right, you better send me off to fight something. I want to fight now, stuff. Now, having set aside the formalities, we have a favor to ask of you. Arianger, have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently. We have conducted a study at the behest of the Order of the Twin Adder. Papalimo, Ida, a synopsis, if you would. Our task was to survey the behavior of the Sylphs, a beast tribe indigenous to the Twelveswood. Oh, how to describe them. They look like gizzle greens, floating ones that worship the primal Ramu. <clears throat> Ahem. Though technically a beast tribe, Sylphs are blessed with a comparatively personable demeanor, conducive to peaceful communication. Offering us an invaluable opportunity to learn what the beast tribes know of the primals. While Ramu's existence is well documented, the Sylphs do not, or perhaps cannot, summon the primal any longer, insofar as can be ascertained. Until such time as we know, it would be unwise to assume that the threat posed by the Primal has passed. Which leaves Gridania with the added worry of not knowing what they should be worrying about. In that regard, they are hardly alone. What we can say with absolute certainty is that Gridania has its hands full fending off Garuda. Who, I need hardly remind you, is among the most savage and terrible of all known primals. 
In short, it is essential that we approach the Sylphs in as diplomatic a manner as possible. Words and actions can be misconstrued. The only sure way to communicate our intentions is the Echo. Winning the Sylphs' favor may well bring us a step closer to mitigating the threat of the Primals. Will you help us? I am grateful. Lovely. Well, as much as I'd like to help, I'm afraid I would be of little use to anyone in Gridania. A veritable babe in the woods. Ida and Papalimo, however, should be able to see the forest for the trees. Is that not so, Minfilia? Indeed. You are willing? Leave it to me. Us, Ida! Us! It's so odd how, like... What is it, like 10% of... These quests are voice acted, and the other 90% are not. Alright, let's go ahead and teleport. Okay, so where am I going? This way. So if you watched... Oh, to, we know far too little of the Sylphs. And uh, to lay any worthwhile plans, we must call upon the science once more if we are to... Ah, beg your pardon. Tis a terrible habit of mine to think aloud. But tell me, what brings you to the adder's nest? Hail, adventurer. I bid you welcome to the adder's nest. Do you seek to entwine your destiny with a twin adder? Good evening, Commander. Sorry to disappoint you, but uh, other business brings us here today. Ida and Papa Limo, always a pleasure to see the two of you. My men tell me you quest in the name of the Scions of late. Quite so, Commander. A little bird told us that the Twin Adder was in need of our adventuring prowess. Aye, your little bird sings true. No doubt you've heard that we're investigating the Sylphs. The curious beast tribe that calls the depths of Twelveswood home. The Sylphs are, for the most part, a peaceable bunch, much to the delight of the elder Seedseer, who has no desire to see her people embroiled in yet another fruitless war. The Twin Adder is this, of the same mind, and uh, tis precisely for this reason that the Sylph's relation to the uh, primal Ramu has raised a flag of warning amongst our ranks. Friendly, friendly as they may appear, beastmen will be beastmen. Should there be even a sliver of a chance that the summoning of the primal might disturb the balance between Gridania and the Sylphic tribes, it is a possibil uh, possibility we cannot ignore. Better to be safe than sorry, indeed. Do we strike at Ramu? and uh, leave the sylphs to their own ways? That is the question, yet I find myself lacking ample knowledge to arrive at an answer. Opinions abound within Gridania, but to listen to only, uh, to, but, uh, but to listen only to one's own is among the greatest mistakes a commander can make. I would hear from the other side, the sylphs themselves, and seek an impartial uh, party to serve as my liaison. That is where you science come in. You c they could have done, they could have done this quest like, oh, like in three little blurbs. Hey, can you go see what they're doing over there? Thanks. The sylphs of the of Little Solace remain untempered and have held many productive dialogue with our people. I would hear their candid thoughts on their tempered brethren. That said, I urge you to exercise due caution. Sylphic tradition and etiquette bear little resemblance to our own. 
I would, uh, it would not do any, not do to have any cross-cultural faux pas get in the way of productive parlay. En route to Little Salas, you will come upon the Hawthorne Hut. Our officers stationed there can enlighten you as to how to win the self's favor. May your exp expedition be a worthwhile one. A friendly palaver with the sylphs. This should be a pleasant enough diversion. The Hawthorne Hut, was it? I believe uh, the ferry departing from West Shore Pier should take us straight there. A friendly palaver indeed. I hope this will be as straightforward as you say, Papalimo. I really like Final Fantasy, like, lore and all that stuff, but a lot of this stuff is... It really is like... How can we make this... How can we make this, uh... This quest that would take... Ten sentences last five minutes. Oh, let's repeat ourselves five times. That's how we do it. So anyway, the uh, if you watched the uh, Final Fantasy XI video yesterday, or probably this morning, because it took like four hours to upload, you'll uh, you'll know that I bought and had to return a uh, a desk chair that I bought. I didn't even read what he said. Why can't I get in a boat? Do I have to do something stupid? Uh, where do I have to go? Hawthorne Hut? Well, where is Horth Hawthorne Hut? Oh, come on. Uh. Okay. Sure. Maybe that's it. Hey, we chose right. So we bought an office chair that, uh, the, the holes were drilled backwards almost, uh, rendering it useless. Our, uh, the back of our chair was at like a 30 degree angle, so it was pushing us forward. <laughs> if, we, if we tried to lean back, we were leaning forward. Uh, I forgot to mention that I, I, like, as soon as I saw the box of the chair, I'm like, this is not good news. Everything is made in China now. I mean, it's, that's not a... I'm, I'm, I'm looking just at my desk right now and I see I see a, a modem, I see a router, I see uh, monitors, I'm holding a controller, I'm looking at a keyboard, my microphone, everything here guaranteed made in China. Guaranteed. So it's not like you can even like 
can not even really get away with it if you wanted to. Uh, away from it if you wanted to. So, but I'm looking at the box. The the company, I, I, forget, I even forget what the company's name was. One of those strange Amazon uh, Chinese name companies. Uh, but the they had a slogan for the chair. Indeed, I am Emily, Emmeline of the Twin Adder. I understand you're here to learn of the sylphs, yes? For all their whimsy, they are a wary lot, particularly since the Empire has come to the Shroud. Earn their trust, however, and they're as friendly as any folk. They have their own quirks, but uh, do but so do we all, no? Would you know more? You'd do well to speak. Uh, would you know more? Like, just shut up. Would you know more? Would you know more? You'd do well to speak with the master of this hut, Rolf. Isn't he the piano playing dog from uh, the Muppets? He's forgotten more about the sylphs than I'll ever know. I hope it's a... Oh, it's not a piano playing dog. I'm very disappointed in you, sir. Come to learn a thing or two about the sylphs, have you? I'll tell you one thing. They're a peculiar folk. How peculiar, you ask? Well, just let me tell you. They're... They're... Uh, beg pardon, friend. My memory is just not what it used to be. I've seen much and more in my adventuring days. And it's all a clutter in my noggin now. Though I've shared my stories stories with those around the hut before, you might have more luck with them. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is it. This is what I'm talking about. You couldn't have just told me. Oh, go talk to other people. They'll say the same thing, though. And then he's going to repeat everything that we hear right now. They're going to repeat everything. Oh, boy, the sylphs. Yes, fathers told me his stories plenty of times. What I've always found most captivating is how their concept of etiquette is almost completely alien to our own. Uh, you do best not to underestimate them on account of their childlike looks, lest you face, uh, lest your face end up a mess of glyphs, squiggles, and kokobo scratches. Tee hee. Yes, tee hee indeed. Sorry, getting getting some girlfriend aggro. Um, all right, more people. So the the chair, the side of the box has its slo uh, slogan, and its what? Its slogan is brand name of the chair. Uh, sit at home. It's like. I think that they're trying to say that before they made this desk chair, you could sit at the you could sit at the doctor's office, you could sit at work, but sitting at home that was an uh, that was an unknown concept. You could sit at home now when you buy this chair. Sit at home. Oh boy, the sylphs. Uh What is that word? Inveterate, inveterate tricksters and troublemakers. That's what they are. One day they're drawing marble faces on their masks, our masks, and the next they're sending our young sentries falling to the bottom of a ravine. Tell them to stop and they just laugh at you. Rolf claims they harbor no ill will, but I dare say such pranks are no laughing matter. I agree. They must be eliminated. The quickest way to a quiver woman's heart might be through her stomach, but don't even think of trying to foist your foodstuffs on a sylph. Uh, they sustain themselves simply by bathing in the sun, or so Rolf once told me. All right, now, oh yes, now I remember. They like the sun, and uh, they'll scribble on your face, and... Uh, 
Ah, of course, of course. Hearing your stories, well, my stories has brought the memories flooding back. I feel, I feel like dancing. Yes. Oh, jeez. I wish you were a piano playing dog. Um. Yes. Nothing brings uh people together quite like a little toe tapping. A self told me long ago that dancing is a time honored greeting among their kind. You do well to remember this. It just may help you in the favor of our forest friends. Oh, still here, eh? Great. There's one more thing you should know about the sylphs. They don't take kindly to guests who show up empty-handed. To earn their trust, you do, do well uh, to bring along a, uh, uh, dread. What was it again? And my wife, Rosa, and I were just speaking of the matter not days ago. Forgive me, friend. Speak to Rosa at the comb. Her memory should prove more reliable than my own. Uh. I mean, somebody, this guy needs to be, like, like they, they might need to put him in a home. A peace offering for the sylphs? Were it anyone else, I'd recommend a jar of honey, but I fear that wouldn't get you past their front doorstep, dear. No, their tastes run more to the unusual. Are you, perchance, familiar with milk root? No. That's what we call the root of uh, that most fiendish seedkin, the ochu. Okay. When chewed, it exudes a cloudy liquid that's said to induce curious visions in the imbiber. You'd not catch me dead trying the stuff, but the sylphs seem to enjoy it to no end. I've seen an ochu around the comb. I uh, haven't seen a... Uh, Ochu around the comb in quite some time, but I did encounter a suspicious, suspicious clump of grass the other day. Were you to stimulate it, it, <clears throat> it somehow with uh, some of this amber syrup, for example, you might be surprised at what comes out. Good luck. Ugh. go back to the dude, right? We're gonna go back to the dude, and he's gonna be like, oh, I knew it was that crazy root. I forgot to tell you that. I think we just should have gone over to the sills and started punching. Eventually, we would get to what we needed to uh, get to with them. Ah, you're back. My wife was able to direct you uh, to a suitable offering. Milk root, but of course, those sylphs quaff that cloudy stuff as quick as I do a flagon of mead. <laughs> the effect's just about the same as well. Any road... A gift of milk root will have the sylphs calling you friend and sister the moment they lay eyes on you. Now let me wrap that up for you. I'm starting to feel a bit woozy. Oh, I forgot how to wrap things up. Can you bring this over uh, to the other side of the map so my friend can wrap it up for you?
I've taken the liberty of wrapping, wrapping your milk root well and good. This should keep it nice and fresh, not to mention uh, spare you from the god's awful stench. The sylphs love this stuff. I know, we've talked about this. Three people have told me they love this stuff. But me, I'd rather bury my nose in cocoa dung. I know, you've said that. I dare say the reek even rivals the breath of a morbole that put an end to my adventuring days. Yep, I, geez, you know, you've already said you don't like it. But I can tell you that story another time. No, I hope you don't. Uh, <laughs> you've more important matters to attend to today, yes? The sylphs are an eccentric bunch. But they've shared their company enough to know their uh, to know their kind at heart. They'll not shun one whose intentions are true. May you parley, may your parlay be a fruitful one, friend. And do not stop. Uh, and no, do stop by on your return. I don't want to. Okay, yeah, I'm just getting away from you, dude. Oh, stop it! Ah, and before I meant I forget. Don't go traipsing off just yet. Aim, aim, land here. Uh, would have a word with you. Travel in safety, friend, and do pass along my regards to the winged ones. D it's just too much. It's too much. I tell you, I didn't like the way that stuff smells. Uh, but yeah, that's another thing. I like to drink instead. Hey, did you know that I it smells really bad? Okay. 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 I get it. It's good to see your knowledge of a sylphic culture has matured. I see no reason to delay your mission any further. I don't know why I am. Upon your arrival at Little Salus, seek out a young sylph by the name of Kumixio. He has served as an intermediary between the people on many occasion uh, and has the close ear of the tribe's elder. I see that Hawthorne has furnished you with some of that. No, he hasn't. He hasn't furnished me with anything. I got it. And then he wrapped it up and complained about it for about five minutes. Root that the sylphs adore. Uh, I have something of far greater import for you to deliver. A missive from the elder seed seer herself. To summarize the letter's contents in brief, it vouches... I don't care what it says. It vouches for the integrity of our envoy. That would be you. And restates Gridania's desire to maintain a harmonious relationship with our long-standing friends of the forest. Uh, the war with the Ixal has taken our toll on our resources. We can ill afford to get mired in another conflict. I need not impress uh, upon you any further importance of this mission. May the Twelve see you return in good tidings. These, it's just too long. Like, I understand. It's like, oh. The story might be great. We just don't need it to be. Like, I don't remember this. What I remember was somebody saying, hey, you got to go talk to the, the, the sylphs. And then you went over there and they made you dance, which I'm, I guarantee I'm going to have to dance. And then they said, no, nah, we still don't trust you. And then you saved one of them and they were like, hey, we trust you now. And that made sense. That, w that was like, hey, that's a not a five, ten minute detour talking to some idiot. I don't like the way that stuff smells. I get drunk. Did I tell you I don't like the way that stuff smells? You see, here we go. Yeah, I think that if I remember back in the day, all it was was you left. They're like, hey, go to. I don't even think you had to go to Grid. I think you did have to go to Gridania. And they'd be like, hey, go talk to the Sylphs. And then you came over here and talked to this guy. And that was so much better. If that's if that was the way that it was, or maybe I just mentally blocked out that last ten minutes because it was just so dumb. Maybe that was it. Walking, uh, walking one isn't... Oh, jeez, that's right. These guys talk like this. You thought I struggled before. Uh, walking one is not familiar with this one. This one does not trust strange walking ones. Strange dancing ones might be a different story, but this one expects no such thing. Uh, walking one should go home and leave this one be. Right. Oh, I like that. That's fun. Now I trust you. This one would welcome walking one who moves uh, with moves like those. 
If walking one would talk to this one, this one would answer. This one is busy one, so a walking one should speak with quick tongue. Okay, great. Walking one bring gift to this one. Walking one is most kind. Yeah. Walking one's walking one brings milk root. Milk root fills this one with great joy. This one gives thanks. Gives many many thanks. Walking one carries message for elder one. This one will deliver the message to elder one. Walking one should not worry. Hello there. We're envoys from G Gridania. What? Hope these ones. These guys. These ones. These guys have better have talked to Rolf too, because if they just walked up here without talking to Rolf, I'm gonna be pissed. Hello there, we're envoys from Gridania. We're here to treat you, uh, here to treat with your, your people. Treat, okay. Aye, we've come to pay our respects to your elder and learn from him more of your Lord Ramu. Who are these ones? These walking ones come from Gridania? Walking one became a dancing one and brought milk root, but walking one tricks this one. This one does not like tricks. This one will speak no more. Elder one is busy. Walking one should go home. Go home, you say? But the sylphs of little Solace have always welcomed Gridanian envoys with open wings. The letter carried by Purgatory here is an oath of peace penned by the elder Seedseer herself. Still you refuse us? This one's reasons are no business of uh, walking ones. Elder one has no words for Gridania. Walking ones waste everyone's time. Well, I never turned away at the gates. Whatever did we do to deserve such a rude welcome? Was Purgatory's jig insufficiently jiggy? Oh, God, help me. I'm as baffled as you, but something tells me recent events have our uh, erstwhile fluttery friends feeling uncommonly, uncommonly wary. It would seem we've no choice but to ask around to see uh, how we might earn their trust. Say, Purgatory, are you in the mood for dancing? That's right, dancing. You went through all that trouble to learn the Sylph's traditional greeting, but you've greeted, heart, greeted hardly any of them. Why, if I were a Sylph, I'd be beside myself with delight to see an adventure expressing an interest in my culture. Me, of course, I'd be happy to join. Ow, ow, there goes these bloody leg cramps of mine acting up again. Oh, boy. I, I have to... I have to imagine that they have changed this because I don't remember it being like this. Oh, walking one knows Jolly Dance. Jolly Dance fills this one with good cheer. Let these two be friends. Um... Walking one would be a friend to these ones. This one is overjoyed, but this one keeps the way of weaving a secret. Even if one learned the secret, walking one could not weave in the same way. Okay. Cool, dude.
Ah, walking one is friend to these ones. Friendly like a gracious elder, one uh, of Forest City. Knows how to dance in the into one's hearts. Um, okay, yeah, let me fix that uh, the past, like, ten minutes. Even if you have to go talk to the non-piano-playing dog, uh, you go up to him and he's like, Hey, uh, they like dancing and uh, they really like Milk Root, but uh, you probably have to talk to my wife to get something to find the Ocho. Once you do, head over there. Hold on. And then he says, okay, he says, they like dancing and they like milk root. You have to go uh, talk to my wife to get uh, something to draw out the ochu to get the milk root. Don't bother coming back here because I can't help you anymore. Just go to see the sylphs. Bang. That's like a minute. I don't remember. Maybe I do remember. I don't remember. I don't like the way that stuff smells. Would you like to hear the good news or the better news? The good news is that our lovely dancing has brought smiles and high spirits to all of Little Solace. The better news? Why I thoroughly recovered from those accursed leg cramps. Onward to our next adventure. Uh, Poppy Limo. Purgatory is an adventurer. You are no stranger to helping distressed folks, I'd wager. Tales of good deeds are quick to spread. The adventurer who comes to the aid of the local populace can go from stranger to hero overnight. No doubt that you see what I'm getting at. The sylphs who make their home in Little Solace do uh, do so have having been driven from their woodland home. Surely they have their fair share of troubles. Seek out the troubled sylphs and see what might be done to ease their worries. A sound plan, would you say not? That said, the sylphs are not known to share their worries with outsiders. You'd be better off inquiring with the uh, hearer Amidia of the Gridanians who resides here. Uh, she is most likely to be privy to the sylphs' troubles. What the hell are you guys doing? Like, can you... They, they, they don't belong here. They, they're doing nothing. I'm getting, I don't know why I'm getting so angry about this. Uh, praise be, uh, praise be to the elementals. I can't express how happy I am to see an adventurer with a truly gentle heart. The sylphs of Little Solace are sorely in need of aid. Pray hear me out. Oh, I, I failed my fate. Uh, being a temporary settlement, Little Solace w uh, wants for amenities, not least a stout set of defenses. Consequently, beasts from mounds around are free to wander in and terrorize the hapless residents. Ziz Gorlins and Gal Nats that roam these parts are especially troublesome, but slaying one of each should serve as a warning to the rest. Furthermore, perhaps you could gather three brownie bushes as well. They play an important role in sylphic culture. I do not claim to know the details, and what with such feral beasts prowling the forest, they are not easily to come by. When you are done with these deeds, seek out Komu Iksu, or Komo... Komixio. Komixio. He is slow to warm to outsiders, but your good intentions will not be lost on him. My own experience speaks of this. Can you slap people in this game? There. 
Good. Oh, that felt so much better. Like, what is your purpose here? What are you doing? Purgatory, we came to stand around and do nothing while you did all the work. Like, I mean, they couldn't, they couldn't do some of this? What am I looking for here? A brownie bush? I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat brownies from a bush. That's, that's AJ's advice of the day. Do not eat brownies you find in bushes. The more you know. Brownie brush. It's supposed to be mushrooms. Don't eat mushrooms either. How about that, kids? What in the world is that? Oh, it's a fate. Dancing one's still here. Dancing one can dance all day. This one trust is not easily earned. Here, have some mushrooms. Hmm, dancing one brings brownie brushes for this one. This one can dye thread once more. This one is pleased. Dancing one kills bitey buzzy one. This one hates, hates, hates bitey buzzy one. Dancing one is kind, too kind. Many walking ones come to these one's abodes, but few are friendly like Dancing One. Perhaps this one was wrong not to trust Dancing One after all. <sighs> this one asks Dancing One for forgiveness. These ones have many troubles since Walking Ones uh, last came to our abode. This one must be careful, always careful. But Dancing One is not like the Walking Ones. This one can trust Dancing One. This one would ask Dancing One for help. Strange Walking Ones with bodies of steel come to home of these ones. Think uh, This one thinks steel ones come from Empire. When Empire goes, many living, thing, living ones become dead ones. Trees fall and uh, bushes burn. These ones' home is in danger. Danger! This one begs of Dancing One to help this one... Uh, this one no more. Dancing one is friends with those ones and walking ones, yes? Dancing one must speak to these ones here and walking ones in hut house to find out more. This one has a bad feeling. This one fears steel ones are after something, but this one should speak no more. Go dancing one. This one depends on kindness of dancing one. <sighs> There he is again. Let's slap Papa Limo. Thanks for all your help, guys. This is this is what the Saiyans are known for. Their their hard work in saving Eorzea. I'm just gonna stand here, guys, if you don't mind. Strange steel walking ones? Yes, this one has seen. Steel walking ones carry big boxes. Maybe walking ones hunt for shiny treasure. This one likes treasure. Oh boy, we're gonna... This may be our last quest of the episode. We were unusually angry. <laughs> we were unusually angry on this one. 
I think this is the most angry episode we've ever made of any video. Like, it's a good story. You don't need to drag it out. You don't need, we don't need to, like, I don't, I don't care about Rolf. Like, if Rolf, if, like, an Ochu breaks into Rolf's house tonight and just eviscerates him and his family, my day's gonna be fine. Uh, shush, shush, this one says. Steel walking ones are scary, like to touch ones. This one hates scary, and scary ones have scary friends. I agree. Like, yeah, you just don't need to drag it. It doesn't need to be dragged. Like, and I'm okay with, I'm okay with very, like, complex, like, RPG quests and whatnot. Just, they don't, just don't have to be, I just don't want them to be long for the sake of being long. Like, oh, we could, again, we could tell you exactly what we want you to do, but we're going to say it four different ways and then say, did you understand? And then repeat themselves? That's just so annoying. Why am I talking to this guy? Men clad in strange armor? Why, now that you mention it, I did see some suspicious types of late. They were gathering deep in the forest. I simply assumed... They were adventurers. Well, you assumed wrong. And now everybody's gonna die because of it. Especially Rolf. Oh, jeez, I have to talk to Rolf. Okay, thank God. It's my man, Victor. Fearsome types clad head to toe in steel, you say? Imperial soldiers, no doubt. I couldn't tell you what they're plotting, but I'm sure it's nothing good. Um. Oh wow, is this a... Is this whole area? Like a... How cool it is. That's a, like, considered a town. I remember grinding here back in the day. Like, over here. For some reason. Cool. Alright. Well, I'm sorry that we were negative. I don't know why we got annoyed. Um, yeah, I guess I can see why we got annoyed. Long, long week at work. We just wanted to play. We wanted to punch things, and we didn't get to punch all that many things this episode. Didn't get to punch that many things. I think that's why we were angry. Instead, we did. We did a lot of running around and stumbling through quest dialogue. All right. Well. Um, I'm going to upload this 30 gig video and hope it looks better than the uh, the last one. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take it easy, folks. Bye.